In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a plain old HTML file to your WordPress website. Hey everybody, I'm Dave from ClientAmp and I make videos for online creators and online business owners. And I've got a bit of a unique situation here today. One of my friends who runs a agency for e-commerce businesses, he does email marketing for them. He's trying to put on a viral marketing contest for one of his customers. Now we've all seen contests like this before. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yeah. This is actually the agency, I'll give them a quick plug, Loyal Tribe. Uh, their domain is yourloyaltribe.com. And they're trying to run a contest for one of their clients, one of these uh, viral marketing contests contests where you know you can refer friends and you can uh, win a prize so in this case uh, he's using this company called viral sweep and I've never actually used them before but they look like they, they put on a pretty good product uh, and he is trying to get the landing page for the contest to be hosted on the same domain as the client's website because he doesn't want to be sending traffic over to viral sweep totally understandable a lot of times people want to keep things on their own brand so viral sweep actually has a few options to do this now you could be working on viral sweep or uh, you know any other um, you know kind of contest platform like this here is what uh, he sent me this is this is the uh, options that they give you to install your uh, page your contest page on wordpress you can embed it through you know, a widget or a light box, but they also give you this option to install a full page. So at first he tried to just copy and paste the embed code into WordPress, but because of the client's theme, the page looked pretty awful. Um, it just, it was, you know, especially on mobile, it was really boxed in and there's really no way for him to adjust the margins without going to a lot of trouble. So our, what I, uh, I'm gonna do for him is show him how to upload the HTML file to the WordPress website so that people can access the page directly. I thought I'd uh, make a little video and hopefully help out some other people along the way. So let's get started. I'm just gonna open up uh, my Chrome browser here and we're gonna go to a little demo site that I've got set up. So here are, there's really only a few steps that you need to accomplish this. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over to plugins and we're gonna do add new. And we need this file manager plugin. I've talked about this in other videos. Um, this is a great uh, time-saving plugin. Now, if you're familiar with HTTP, you might just wanna do that instead. Um, but if you wanna just get access to your files right from, you know, a lot of times with clients, we'd actually don't, getting HTTP credentials can be a lot of work. So the file manager plugin here lets you get right at the server. Um, so now that I've installed and activated that plugin, I can access the files on the server right over here. And what I wanna do is create a new folder. And this folder should be located in the public underscore HTML uh, folder. So make sure you're at that level. We don't wanna be clicked inside of any of these other folders. And then the button for a new folder is right up here in the uh, file manager plugin. And I'm just gonna call this contest. You can call it anything you want. Now this will be the URL that people will visit. So it's very important that it's what you want to send to people and that it's also not redundant. It's not duplicating an existing URL that's already on the website. So maybe they've got a page about contests. Well, then this would conflict with that and your, you know, the website wouldn't know which page to load. Page to load. So definitely try to find something that's unique and not likely to be chosen again in the future. Okay, so now that I've got this contest folder uh, available. I'm just going to double click inside of it and I can see that it's empty and that's what I expect because I just created the folder. Uh, and now we can just upload, in this case, I just have a single HTML file uh, that I can upload to the website. Um, now it has to be index.html. If it's anything else, you probably run into some permission errors. So we just want it to be h index.html, um, you know, no dashes, no, no numbers. If you have multiple ones, sometimes your, your naming conventions will, will mess that up. And now I should be done. If I go to demo.clientamp.com and I go to slash contest, it's gonna pull open that. Here we go, we can win a gift card. Uh, now in the case of this, this embed actually inside of the HTML file, it had all of the styling and external links to images so that there's really only the one file to upload. If you created a HTML file uh, you know, on your computer, you coded it from scratch, you might have another folder with images and another folder with CSS, in which case you just wanna upload that to that contest folder in our case or whatever you end up calling your folder. So you might have other folders inside of this one. And that's it, you've got your 
HTML file live on your website. The rest of the website is still fully functional. Nothing is broken. We can go and double check here. All right, so this is just a demo site that I've got set up to do tests like this and demonstrations. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you've been able to get your HTML page loaded onto your WordPress website. Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know why you're uploading a static HTML file to your WordPress site. I'm kind of curious to see what people are using it for these days. If this video was helpful, make sure you head over to clientamp.com. You can sign up for our email list and you'll get updated with all of the latest news and marketing techniques for online creators. And consider hitting that subscribe button so that you get notified when new videos like this are posted. That's going to do it. Thanks so much.